Welcome to Dave's Travels and we're back with another haul video. Okay, this is what we bought in Brazil. We were there for 10 days and the exchange rate as of August 2024 was, so it's four real to one Canadian dollar or 5.5 real to one, to one US dollar. So first thing that I bought was we crossed the border from Argentina to Brazil via Iguazu Falls. So on the on the Brazil side, I bought a pin. It is super cute. It was a 12 real, and that is like two and a half US dollars. It's a good lapel pin, you know, a little expensive, but you know, not expensive for Canada. Um, next, wow, I don't even know where to start. Um, these things, okay, you see, these, these little tank tops, these Brazil tank tops, and also these mini crop Brazil tops, you see them everywhere. Um, and the going rate for these are usually 60 real to 60 to 50 real. And it also depends on the quality. Do not buy these in touristy places. We stayed in Copacabana and these were selling for 60 um, real and they wouldn't go down more. But when you go downtown Rio, um, we got this shirt for 35 real, which is about, um, like eight Canadian dollars or about like six and a half US dollars. And this is the good quality stuff. This is like the thick material, which is really nice. A lot of them are thin material. So you really got to pay attention, um, when testing the quality and we bought this one in the market downtown as well. This is a tank top, also super thick material, and this was 30 real, which is 750 Canadian or six US dollars. Um, other things that you'll see everywhere, of course, are the jerseys. Um, Dad got a jersey with no name on it. I don't know why, but this is pretty good material. It's like dry fit and stuff. Careful with the stitching also. Um, the going price for the ones with names on it, like Neymar, I brought, bought one for my friend. They are about, oh, it can be from 80 real to 100 real. Um, and we bought this in downtown Rio, so the prices were cheaper. We got this for 50, um, 50 real, but you can go down to 40 real pretty easily. Um, the ones with names will probably be 50 real though, so that's about 12 and a half Canadian dollars or 10 US dollars. So where do you go downtown in Rio? Uh, they're literally everywhere. Um, there's a market that is near the Portuguese reading room. If oh, you okay. know where that is. Yeah. Um, and that market, we went there on a Thursday, so I'm sure it'll be there whenever. Um, a lot of vendors give you different prices. So go to the inner ones and they give you a lot cheaper. Um, while I bought this tank top, we bought this t-shirt alongside which is also the good quality material. And this is also 30 real, which is 750 Canadian or six US, which is really cheap because everywhere was charging like six, 60 real for this t-shirt. Um, that one's a cotton one, right? This is a cotton one. Not, not dry we shirt. were at like the Spanish steps tiles thing and they were quoting us like 50 real and they wouldn't go any um, cheaper, but you can get this for quite cheap. In that same market near the Portuguese reading room, I got, you know, a going up top. Um, they quoted 40 real and it, they went easily down to 30 real, which is, you know, again, 750 Canadian or six. It looks, looks like a Madonna outfit. It fits very well. It has a zipper in the back too. The thing here also in Brazil, which is very different, it's a credit card based country. You're right. So if you are trying to bargain for things, they'll only allow you to, they'll only accept your bargain if you pay in cash. So always have cash um, with you, but they do accept credit card literally at any single street vendor, any single small street vendor. Um, next thing that I bought was, you know, I need my underwear and I need my bras. So I have literally the exact same, okay, bra and I paid like 20 Canadian for it. I don't really see it. It was, it was three, it was three Canadian dollars or it was, it was 12 real. Um, and it came with an underwear. Um, and that's like 250 US. So 
it's cheap. It's very cheap. I got that downtown as well. Also in the same market, I got a, I can't even put this shirt on right now because it's a very long and twisty shirt, but it's like, you can wear it like three ways. I got this for 25 real or let me do the conversion. It like, you know, it's like six Canadian dollars or like five US. Um, so you can buy, you know, everyday clothes at the market or you can buy all these the touristy things. They have like a wide variety of things. Um, postcards. I, I love my postcards. I got desperate near the end again and I paid three real for it, which is kind of expensive, which is about 75 cents Canadian or about 50, 52 cents US. But they they go for two real, two to 50 real is where you'd get it in Copacabana. I'm not really sure because I didn't see them a lot in downtown Rio. But um, didn't we pay three for eight? Yeah, like, yeah, you can always bundle things. Remember that, like, you know, you have a crazy bargaining power if you buy more than one thing, especially like with these shirts, you know, I bought two of these shirts for me and my friend. Um, food? Oh, no, not food. I want to go with the shop glass. Shop glass is vary in price. Usually they vary from 10 to 15 real. So they're not that expensive. But I bought these at the bottom of the Spanish step tile things downtown Rio and I got it for eight real, which is two Canadian dollars or one and a half US dollars. That's after drinking a Caprina for eight real, a huge 700, 700 milliliter Caprina that first. Yeah, anyways, it's the that, area, that area is really cheap, but if if you were finding, if you're trying to buy these kind of souvenirs, they're going to be like normal pricing. So, yeah. Um, shot glasses, buy it there. Um, I went to a Chinese store and, <laughs> and I bought these very obnoxious earrings for five real, which is $1.25 Canadian or, you know, 80 cents US. Um, yeah, I just wanted something. This was in Copacabana. Um, food. Okay, food. We bought this with our remaining real that we had left, so it was 18 real, or about 325 US, or like the 450 Canadian. It is, okay, I really don't like their coffee that much, like it's kind of muddy, but I mean, coffee beans are coffee beans. Um, we bought these chips, oh, these are very good, so we bought these bacon chips. Um, so we got four of them for five real. There are a lot of discount like food stores, um, or discount, what's it called? Discount junk like, food stores. Junk food stores. So go to those if you're looking for junk. So four of them for a dollar twenty-five Canadian or eighty cents American. Um, we have these chips. Oh my God, they're so good. Bacon flavor. Hmm. I think they are a dollar seventy-five real. So this is like forty Canadian cents or like twenty-five U.S. cents. Snacks are really cheap, generally. Um, of course, if you buy the foreign stuff, it's going to be expensive. Um, like, if you get, like, a stack of Pringles, it'll be, like, the small stack were of 10. Pringles. The small ones, yeah, the small cans are, like, 10 real, which is, like, 250. I mean, it's not that expensive, but, like, for Brazil, it's expensive. So buy the cheap and local stuff. They're pretty good. Um, last things that we have here are... Um, These are just common in Brazil. They're yummy. I don't. I don't really know what else to say. It's about cookie them. gingerbreadish with covered with chocolate. This is plantain chips. They eat a lot of chocolate, and I'm not complaining because I love chocolate. Um, and a lot of a lot of assorted crackers too. Okay, we bought this at a duty free store. It's not really Brazil, but it was on our way going back from Brazil, and. This was 18 US, so you had to buy two of them for 18 US, and we bought it for 36 US. And can, I know it might not be cheap, but for, for Americans, for Americans, but, but for, Canadians. for Canadians, it is very cheap because I just went to the LCBO today. We did some math and we saved like 20, 20 Canadian dollars so, per bottle. Per bottle? No, 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 no. Like like 10, yeah. 15. Wow. It was okay. 45. Okay, well, Canadian we versus twenty five. Yeah, twenty alcohol. bucks. A month. So, you know, my university life was really good. Um, anyways, thanks for tuning in to Dave's Travels. 
like and subscribe for more haul videos and real pricing. Um, I don't know where, where we're going to be next, so subscribe. Ciao, ciao. Obrigado.